Hi, and welcome back to the laboratory. Today, I'm going to show you how I fixed some pretty serious breaks in some GI Joes. Um, in my restringing video, I showed you how when you dig into here with the wire cutters to get rid of the eyelet clip around the thigh pin, be very careful with the reproduction guys, the timeless classic GI Joes and the Wally Joes and so forth, because that pin is made out of aluminum and it's real easy to break. Well, when I was restringing this Wally Joe Black Adventurer, that's exactly what happened on both thigh pegs, or pins, excuse me. This is what I did to fix it. And I'm going to show you exactly what I used and how I did it. Okay. Get yourself a couple of steel rivets. You can buy these things in packs at hardware stores and Home Depot and Menards and Farm and Fleet and places like that. They're just steel pop rivets that fit into a, a regular old rivet gun. Um, take the rivet. Oh wait, should give you the size, shouldn't I? Uh, this one here is, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. The rivet head on this one is one quarter. The rivet head being this part here. This part here. Okay, take your rivet. You're going to need two of them per thigh. And uh, this is kind of a bitch, but take a couple of pairs of pliers. And you can slide this part right off of the steel rivet pin. Okay, there we go. Let's adjust that camera a little bit. There we go. Okay. These end pieces are hollow, obviously, so it slides through. Will fit right into the little to the little indentation into Joe's thigh. You put them in this way. What you want to do is take two of the rivets, like I said, take them apart, okay, and what you do you take the two one of the center pins use a file or a little or maybe a grinding wheel or an electric uh, wire brush like I got there and just smooth them out real good you'll see that they have a little indentation on them so what you do is you just kind of grind that down a little bit come on focus you pecker so that you can uh, slide the outer half over it again very easily. Okay. What you do is you take the broken leg and slide, oops, and slide the piece, the outer sliding piece, one into each side of the leg, of the thigh. Can see where I've already done that here. On both sides. Once you get it, get two of them in there. You take one of the center pins from the rivet. If you look in here, you can see how this turns out. Let me pull them apart a little more here. See how those slide right in there? Once you get the two outer pieces on there, take the center part of the rivet and slide it through both. You can see that it's slightly longer than the thigh. And 
and then you just cut off the end that's too long. You want the ball end to fit into one side or the other. Slide it through, cut it off, and then you'll wind up with a new pin through the thigh that you can loop your elastic around to finish your restringing. After that, what I did was I took each leg and I took them over to my little grinding wheel. You could use a Dremel tool with a, you know, with a grinding stone on it or whatever you want. And I ground this ball head flat so it wouldn't snag on clothing. And the same on the other side. I ground that end flat. And that holds it in place. You could also, I suppose, put a drop of super glue or something in here that would keep it in place as well. And I did that to both sides because I broke both pins. Uh, pretty simple fix. Rivets are cheap. I said you can buy them anywhere. Any hardware store will have those things. This also repair works real well for something like this happens. This guy fell off of a shelf. This is a vintage Joe, all vintage parts. And he was in pretty damn good shape. Not even any meat cracks. Nothing. I couldn't find anything wrong with this guy. Anyhow. He needed a restringing too, but anyhow, that was the only thing wrong with him. He's, but he fell off the shelf, landed on his leg, I imagine, and snapped this knee pin off. I did the same thing to fix him. In order to get the old rivet out when something like that happens, and when something like that happens, I took my wire cutters, this pair happened to work the best, flipped it around, Grabbed hold of the rivet like this, just basically very gently worked it under the plastic and, and smoothed out the mushroom end of the rivet. Actually, I cut it off actually. But once you get the uh, wire cutters under there, you can squeeze it up so you can get it out. And I took a very small punch. As a matter of fact, I used one of these for a punch. And very gently tapped the rivet out the other side. It gave me a little bit of crap coming out, so what I did was grabbed hold of it like this on this side, put those wire cutters, got them underneath there, and helped it to pull it all the way out. I had a new knee peg laying around, so that was no big deal. I slid the knee peg through, and then I did exactly the same thing like I did to fix the thighs on the Negro Adventure. Yeah, and I've smart up the plastic a little bit, but it turned out good. Knee is tight. I smoothed it out so it don't snag on his clothes and it worked real well so I laid in a supply of these just in case <laughs> that's how I fix those guys if you have any questions please message me or, or you can catch me on Facebook use on Facebook and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions about that process little something else I'm working on here too. This is the Cotswold version of the Atomic Man, Mike Power. I found this to be pretty cool. I think it was a good idea for them to repro this and make him a little neater with the extra bionic leg. And this I happened to order a guy with the four limbs just because I thought it was cool. Not sure what kind of a guy he's going to be, but I'm going to fix him up a little bit and pop a head on him. I've got an extra Mike Power head that I'll probably use. As you can see, the pegs that come with this are just the standard white colored pegs. What I did was I popped them apart. Come on. Yeah. And I used whatever I did with it silver marking pen to color the pegs. Now what I'm going to do I did that on the knee peg as well and I also did it to the arms. What I intend to do now is I'm going to get a dowel or something that will fit inside of here in between these two pieces so it looks like he has a whole bionic leg down there. So 
I'm going to put this on pause, give me a minute, and I'll go take a look and see what I can find to use that will fit in there. Okay, I am back. I found this piece of dowel that will fit in there. And I've cut it off to what appears to be about the correct length with a hacksaw. Obviously, and very simply, you just take your marker and then just color it silver. These silver marking pens are great for a lot of things, like uh, the silver finish on the weapons. I've also used them on my headquarters where I was building a command center and some other things to just uh, add some color and such to various items that needed to appear metallic. I'm sure I'll be using them a lot more too. One other thought too, you would think <laughs> that Cotswold would have thought of this. It's a pretty simple idea and pretty obvious. And the Hasbro original Atomic Man did indeed have these in his legs. Yeah, maybe it was too expensive for him. Okay. Now, let's see how we're going to make it work. Take it and put it in there. I think we'll just try to use the foot peg to push it in there. Nope, that might break the foot peg. We're not going to do it that way. Now, let's see if we can't get it in from the top instead. When you're doing this, something when you're messing with this kind of stuff, to get these, this works to get broken knee pegs out and such too. If you just take a pick or a screwdriver, and give it a good push, it'll pop them out. See if it works better from this side. my helper come on duster kitty get down from there oh, thanks anyway for your assistance it looks like we're gonna have to do something a little more to make that fit in there better okay Anyhow, you get the general idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick a small drill bit down there and very gently drill it out a little bit inside. I intend to do this to the other limbs on this guy so that it looks pretty good. Okay. Now well, that's what I got for you today. We'll get back in there. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day.